Hello and welcome to this video on finding the distance between two points that lie along a parallel of latitude. First thing that we're going to think about is this. Just let's let's think of a circle in 2D. All right, how would I find this length? So say you got two points on this circle A and B. How could I find the distance around that circle to them? All right, well, first we need to know what is the distance around a full circle? Well, that's the circumference or the perimeter, right? So that is 2 pi r. So if we've just got, if we want to find just L, so we're calling L the arc length, right? This is like a fraction of a circle. Well, it's going to have 2 pi r in it. Now, a fraction of a circle. So we're going to think, how many degrees in a full circle? How many degrees in that full angle there? It's going to be 360, which will go on the denominator of the fraction, since a fraction is the number of parts over the whole. And then you've got theta up here. So you're just doing a fraction of a full circle. So this is how the arc length formula is derived. Okay, so we're going to come back to that soon. Now let's look at the problem. So it says a plane flies from town A, 42 degrees north, 64 degrees west, to town B, 42 degrees north, 85 degrees west. How far has it flown along the parallel of latitude? Let's have a draw of the problem first. So I first just draw in the equator as a nice point of reference. Equators in the middle. And then it says along the parallel of latitude. So this is latitude, this is longitude. La longitude. Now I'm going to mark in. So see how those the those uh latitudes are the same? Where do you think where do you think 42 degrees north would lie? So we've got the northern hemisphere here. And we've got the southern hemisphere. So it's going to lie in the northern hemisphere. And I'm just going to put it, put it here. 42 degrees north, which also looks like if you put an, a, a dot in the center of the sphere, it's going to mark up. That's going to be 42 degrees. It's just something important to know for very soon. That's what an angle of latitude is. All right, but I might just get rid of that for now. And we're coming back to that on the next slide, all right? So we've got 42 degrees north and let's map in our longitude. So this, they lie on this, this line, but let's lie in our, <laughs> put in our longitudes. So I'm gonna put the furthermost west one first. So this is 85 degrees west around about. So good, good. 85 degrees west, and we've got 64 degrees west. 64 degrees west. Those are our longitudes. Now let's put in those actual coordinates. Okay. Actual coordinates. Because, so let's look at town A, 42 degrees north, 64 degrees west. Just plotting it like on a linear graph. So this is A, and then we've got 42, 85, that's B. Looking good. So that's where they lie. And then I just want you to think about, so that circle that we saw before, right? I want you to put it, so we'll, we were looking at it like that. I want you to put it flat. This is the same small circle that I'm drawing in right now. I'm gonna draw it. Can you see there's another circle there? I'll get rid of that one. And it's flat. And it is being, can you see that that is theta? Let's do theta in blue. This. You see that there's a little angle in there? That is theta. Now, what do you think that that angle, how do we find that angle? 
And why do we need to find it first? Well, let's first write down this arc length formula from before. L equals theta on 360 times 2 pi r. Now, when it comes to Earth geometry, that theta is the angular difference, the angular distance, sorry, but I remember it as angular difference, and it's the difference in the ones that aren't the same, if that makes sense. So if we look here, we're looking at, let's actually get, we're looking at the difference the angular difference between those two longitudes. And what is that going to be? Have a think about that. Theta is going to just be 85 take 64. It's called angular distance, but I remember it as angular difference. So we can find something in our arc length formula straight away. That's 21 degrees. So that's the easy part of the arc length formula. Now, finding this radius, what is this? What's this radius going to be? Remember over here, if we picture that circle again, but as flat. All right, these are our little radiuses in here. And how do we find them? Well, in order to do that, we need to understand great circles and small circles, which I've drawn on the next slide. So we are wanting to find we are wanting to find the radius of this small circle in order to, because the radius is the same distance all the way around the outside, we need to find that R. And I've drawn another type of diagram over here. All right, so if we map this in, this is 42, what was our latitude? 42 degrees north. And I'm going to show you how to find the radius of that small circle, RS. Now, parallels of latitude, we know some things about parallel lines, don't we? Okay, we know some things. Let's draw that. All right. That's the first step, right? We know, I'm not sure if I've said it before, I don't think I have, the radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers, right? Would you agree at the equator, it's a great circle with radius of the earth, 6,371. Here, we've got the radius of the small circle, which we're trying to find. Now, angles on parallel lines, let's bring it back. So this, I think I told you before, remember that that line of latitude We'll have an angle of 42 degrees there. Well, same here. This is going to be 42 degrees. And properties of parallel lines say that this is also 42 degrees. So that's the first step. The next step is, okay, let's mark in a little right angle triangle. Can you see, and I'm going to get a highlighter. Can you see that this, oh, sorry, that must be frustrating to watch. We've got, we've got a right angle triangle here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this right angle triangle off to the side. That yellow highlighted triangle, just to simplify my diagram a little bit more. Now, so that's got an angle of 42, and we don't know RS. And do we know any other sides? If we knew, knew one more side, we could use trigonometry. The key to this problem is realizing that the radius of the Earth is the same all the way around if you're on a great circle. So which means that this distance has also got to be 6,371 kilometers. 6,371 kilometers. Now that's all the hard work done. Once you can do that, you are all good. Now let's try it. We know our trig ratios, right? We know our trigonometric ratios. Okay, 
uh, well, this is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. This is the adjacent. And let's go. So adjacent and hypotenuse means cos theta. Cos theta equals A over H equals adjacent. Adjacent over hypotenuse, which we have a value for the, the radius of the Earth. And we've got cos and our angle is 42 here, not to be confused with the with this angle, which is angular distance. Now, let's just get an expression for radius. So that's being divided by 6371. So let's multiply by 6371 on both sides, which gives me that, which gives me an expression for our radius. 6371 cos 42. So the radius is 6371 cos 42 from our crazy diagram over the page. And then we can just substitute into our arc length formula above. L equals, I'll just write it again so you can see it subs in, substituted in. Theta is 21, the angular distance, the angular difference. 2 pi times 6371 cos 42. Looks like a crazy formula. So 21, I'm just doing that in my calculator all in one go. One seven three five kilometers. And yeah, it's said to the nearest kilometer. So that's, that is that. And I think there, there is actually a much quicker way to do it, but this is how you derive it. So it's important to understand how to get that right angle triangle. Remember that you have a side length of that right angle triangle because the radius of earth is the same all the way there. Okay, and I hope that that made sense. And if not, just let me know. All right, see ya.